Economic development happens when money comes from outside a region into the region. It's our job to serve people and to make their lives better. I spend a lot of time in Garfield County, Enid in particular. That's probably one of the hardest things to get a good title. Everyone deserves help. And he's been very instrumental in trying to make this deal work out. We're basically self-insuring 100% of the loss. Now having a new measurement tool to make certain we're ready. My old friend. Oh. <laughs> Some girls have even led adoption drives for local rescue agencies. I want to try to focus on the things out of life that are positive. City Connections begins right now. My special guest today is Elaine Johns, and everybody in the Enid community in Northwest Oklahoma is familiar with Elaine and all the work that she does uh, for our veterans. But uh, we're here to talk about the Memorial Day ceremonies that will take place on May 27th of 2019. Elaine is a, a big part of the Woodring Wall of Honor Board of Directors, and it's good to have you here today. Elaine, thank you for taking a few minutes to visit with us about uh, an annual event. And just right off the bat, we all know Memorial Day and the significance, but why the Memorial Day celebration at Woodring each year? Why go through the effort and all the orchestration it takes to put it together? because we made a promise to the families that have attended our services that we would never forget their sacrifices. So those young men and women that have given the ultimate sacrifice for our country, this is the way that our community can assure them that we will never forget that sacrifice. Yeah, it's exciting for me as, as a, sometime I see on news segments, you'll see more and more Oklahoma communities having parades, having barbecues, having outdoor events, having Memorial Day services, or even just events throughout the year to do what you just said, to always remember the sacrifice of the individuals and their families have made. So, well, let's talk about the event that will be on May 27th um, here this year, the Memorial Day ceremonies. And I know that you've invited certain legislative dignitaries to participate and, and hopefully their schedules will allow for that. But the new mayor of Enid, George Pinkerton, will do the, the welcome and, and a, a presentation, if you will. This is all set at the Woodring Wall of Honor. It seems to be a perfect location. Don't you agree? I to do. To have this annual event? Because you I have do. the wall and the, the M.L. Becker Museum and, and, of course, airport. So was it easy to decide on that years ago that this is where we're going to have our annual event? Well, we're very thankful that our airport manager has always been so supportive of everything that we do and has offered the city's hangar to be able to host those services. Um, in years past, we've had to bear the weather, we've had to bear the mosquitoes and different <laughs> things outside. Yeah. But um, Dan has been very, very supportive in allowing us to use the city's hangar and conduct the services there, not only to have traditional Memorial Day services, but to honor those families that have lost their sons and daughters. We have three that are coming to our services this year that have lost their sons. And um, we're very proud that Enid has hosted those for almost 20 years. Yeah. This is our 19th year. Um, it's sad, but then it's also rewarding to know that Enid cares. Sure, sure. And you know, it means uh, the world to the families, if you will. Well, the new mayor, George Pinkerton, what will be his role? Is he just going to greet folks, welcome folks? What, what is George going to do at the event? Well. Our past mayor, Bill Shuey, has been wonderful in supporting 19 years of services along with Doug France and other mayors that we've had. And George will continue that role and welcome everybody to the community and share um, the patriotism that this community has uh, for its uh, military families and armed forces. And he'll share that as a military veteran himself. I know that you go to great efforts behind the scene on any project. There's so much pre-work that needs to be done for the, for the one-day event. And you have Kelly Russell, pastor at First Baptist, that will be there for the invocation. Why the connection to get like local ministers involved in the Memorial Day event? Well, we, have, uh, we just feel it's important. Uh, to honor God in all the services that we do. And so each year we've picked a different denomination to come in and share an invocation and a benediction over our free meal that we host following the event. And so it's great that the pastors want to be involved. They're always contacting us and they share the most beautiful prayers um, to honor the families, to honor the um, uh, 
military members that have passed on before us, and just to honor Enid. We all know the significance of the presentation of the colors, and one group that seems to be involved so often is the Kiowa Black Leggings Honor Society. Tell us about that group and why are they involved year after year? Well, like. the group, we got in contact with them through the University of Oklahoma where they were making uh, color presentations during the uh, graduation exercises. And we asked them about coming up and blessing our park and being part of our ceremony. At that time, Gus Palmer was the leader of that organization. He was a World War II veteran, um, was a B-17 uh, mm. in the air crew. And he came up and saw our park and saw the mission behind what we were doing and made a promise that not only did they bless our park with a special ceremony, but they vowed that they would come every year to support our veterans and families. Well, that's a nice addition to the entire effort. Well, I understand music plays a big role in the Memorial Day uh, event and the ceremonies. And you have a men's group from Emmanuel that will sing the national anthem and a few other songs. Again, another example of how you connect the local community uh, into your event. So tell us about the men's group, Cornerstone. Well, we have invited many, many groups over the years, many individuals, high school uh, students that have come to share their talents in song in our community. And Cornerstone is an eight-member men's group from Emmanuel Baptist Church that will share uh, several songs prior to the ceremony's beginning. And then we'll also do our national anthem and then a special song when we honor these families. One of the key features of the Memorial Day ceremony is having a guest speaker, a keynote speaker. And in the past, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you've had some generals to speak. I mean, you've really had some dignitaries participate in the event. This year is no different. You have John Dyer, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I think he was born and raised in Duncan, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm, that's but correct. He's, a, he's an author, he's a historic, historian. He writes a lot about Oklahoma. Tell us about Mr. Dyer and why he's the keynote speaker. Well, his f grandfather served in World War II and he has a very special story that will connect his family's military experience to the Memorial Day okay. services. Not only is he going to be a keynote speaker, but he is releasing a new book, a World War II book about um, a young football player from the University of Oklahoma that went on to serve in World War II, and it's called The Mustang. And so he has written a lot of historical novels, and we're excited that he's going to share his family's experience with us. One of the uh items or events in the, the ceremony for Memorial Day is the dedication of the Wall of Honor. Tell us what that's all about. Well, every year we collect names to add to our living walls, as we call them. And so as we collect the names, each year we uh, engrave the stone with those names of those veterans past and present. And so we like to dedicate the stone in a very dignified way. We cover the stone, we don't reveal the stone until the services, and then it's uncovered by veterans who will actually salute and remove the coverings in a, in a very ceremonial way. And then uh, it, it prepares everyone for the family uh, presentations that follow that. Besides serving on the board of uh, the Woodring Wall of Honor and um, meeting planner and the behind the scenes person that you, <laughs> that you are, you also have a role of rec the recognition of the Gold Star families. Tell us about that. Well, it saddens us to say that we have honored almost uh, 200 of our fallen since we opened the park. Uh, but this year I'm going to be hosting the actual uh, family presentations or recognition services. We're having a blue to gold ceremony conducted by the Blue Star Mothers. And for those people that don't know what um, a Blue Star or Gold Star Mother is, well, Blue Star Mother is a mother that has an active duty member that's serving in our armed forces but the, the gold star represents those that have given the ultimate sacrifice. And so we have two families that will be doing the blue to gold ceremony at our services this year. It's a special honor that they do to sig signify that transition. And we're all familiar with Brenda Bingham and her, her role with the Blue Star Mothers. So basically she will be following you 
after your presentation as well. That is correct. With, with the and blue then, to gold ceremony. And then we'll have a legislative commendation that we will present at that time to the families. And then we'll actually do the actual uh, presentation itself where we escort the families up and they will come through a very generous line of um, organizations that have donated um, things for these families. We have the comfort quilts that the gold, uh, Golden Oaks quilters have made. We have the Afghans that are given to the families that um, have been done by the, the prisoners at the uh, Crabtree Correctional Center. We have legislative commendations that we give. We have dog tags that we give. And this year we have a special outdoor flag that was done specifically for these families. And then also the Kiowa Black Leggings bless the flags that we give to the families and present them. And then they're escorted by our members of our service groups that take them out to the stone to actually see their loved ones' names yeah. on the wall. So you can tell by what Elaine has just shared with us how special the Memorial Day event will be and always is uh, each year. And again, this year's event will be on May 27th. Um, there's additional music with Cornerstone and then the legislative presentation you talked about. You already talked about the proclamations. And, and oftentimes the governor provides proclamations and you know certain yes. dignitaries like that. So that make, makes it very special. Uh, Johnny Greer, I've noticed in your program from Pioneer, will perform taps. Yes. Now, is Johnny, is this, is he an annual uh, participant in the event? Uh, I'm not familiar. He or was a, a young graduating high school student and um, had attended our services and offered to play okay. taps for us. Okay. And he has gone on to college and to other areas, but he comes back every year because Great. he feels that it's part of his a role sure. in supporting our families to do that. And I think it's important that we all have some part of contribution right. to the to the overall. Well, that's a great story. Well, that's pretty much the uh, Memorial Day event at uh, the Wall of Honor at Woodring Regional Airport. But uh, later on, you've got a barbecue dinner. We do. Tell us about the dinner, the cost, and where that's located, Adeline. Well, we have, for the last few years, uh, always fed the veterans and family members that attend our services. It's by donation only. We don't have a price for the meal. It's just a free meal. This year, Jim Holt and with the Wooden Nickel will be supplying our pulled pork dinner. And so we'll have pulled pork and Golden, fr uh, golden fried chick donated coleslaw, <laughs> and we have chips and drinks and desserts. And the Garfield uh, County Lions Club always organizes that meal for us. And so we're very pleased to be able to offer a traditional Memorial Day meal following such a, a monumental, I, monumental's not the word, moving ceremony. Sure. As I was preparing for our visit today, I noticed that there could be a vintage aircraft show up at Woodring, yes. an, A20, an A26. Um, the Lady Liberty is okay. housed at uh, Woodring Airport, and she will be on display for people to be able to come out and see. Uh, she is a World War II, uh, Korea, Vietnam era aircraft and she's just a beauty and we're very pri privileged to have her on our field. And we're fortunate at Woodring Regional Airport that we have uh, B-17s, B-25, I mean some really vintage aircraft visit um, Enid, you know, during the year at different times. Well, the M.L. Becker Educational Facility or Museum or Center, I should say, it will be open. Give us a quick tour of that. Well, we are very pleased that we had almost 2,000 books donated by a professor at uh, Oklahoma City. And we have probably one of the most premier World War II collections of uh, library materials that in the state of Oklahoma. And so we're excited that you will walk into our library and, and meeting space, and then you'll enter the Bob Cummins Museum, which we have lots of things on display. Um, a lot of things are on uh, display right now at the Heroes Exhibit that will be on through May 31st. And so I would encourage everybody to go see the Heroes Tribute at the Oakwood Mall uh, in the old Goodies Building that will be on display till the 31st yeah. of March. Well, you've covered everything, I think, uh, extensively for us. We just do need to be mindful to show up on May 27th, support our veterans, support those who have given so much and just enjoy the Memorial Day ceremony. Elaine, thank you for your work behind thank the scenes, you. all that you do for our veterans and what you do in the Enid community. 
appreciate it very much. Elaine John's a special guest, and uh, Elaine again is uh, on the Woodring Wall of Honor Board of Directors. I think you're serving as Executive Director at this time, along with many other titles. So we're, we appreciate Elaine being with us today. And it's all part of the Memorial Day ceremonies at Woodring Regional Airport out at the Wall of Honor. That's May 27th of 2019. Thanks for watching.